I've tried getting my mom to date, but all she wants to do is badmouth my dad and his now wife. I have to always have two separate events for everything, but for our wedding, this wasn't feasible. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, going to go over an article titled, Son Boots His Mom From His Wedding After She Mocks Stepmom For Not Being Able To Have Kids. And big shout out to Melissa for sending me this story. And guys, this whole article is covering a story that's gone viral around uh, recently on Reddit about uh, this, this young guy who he's getting married. And essentially, he kicked his mom out from his wedding because she's pretty much a total a-hole. That repeatedly, she starts a lot of drama with his now stepmother. You're going to see in this story, guys, that his dad and his mom split up eight years ago. And obviously, it was a bad marriage. She was a crappy wife uh, and obviously making things miserable for him. So eventually, he cheated and then married the woman that he was having an affair with. Now, obviously, not cool that he was doing that to her. He should have just ended it with her, but it is what it is. But uh, mom hasn't been able to get over it. And she starts drama and turmoil wherever she goes. And finally, even after he warned her, she didn't care. And finally, he booted her out. And it's amazing the reaction has gotten online. It's actually surprising. So I'm going to get more into this story, guys. But I got to tell you, I've known situations like this throughout my life where people... They, uh, the parents get divorced, and they have parties and events and everything. They literally have two. One for the one side of the family, the dad and the new wife, and uh, for the mom and the new husband because they can't get along. And I think it's ridiculous, and they just enable the bad behavior. And, of course, that, that nasty disdain that a lot of uh, parent, mothers have for the new stepmother. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm sure many of you guys have witnessed this thing. and just it's Eventually, it's like, move on. And just be civil for an hour or so to party for the kids' sake. But no, the, these these mothers get so so much venom, so much hatred towards the uh, the, the new the, the father's new wife. It's unbelievable. Make a big mess. So I thought it was pretty funny to hear this story here. A young guy lays down the law. But anyhow, I've talked long enough here, so I'm going to get into it. Starts off, it says, uh, getting engaged and planning a wedding is a lot of work. It can be amazingly fun, of course. But when it goes well, it's all the fun of getting uh, getting to plan the biggest party of our life. With the people we like the best around us, showering us with love and attention. But for some families, it can also bring all the deep family drama right to the surface. The forced family togetherness at events such as a wedding, wedding showers, or engagement parties can result in some moments that are potentially life-changing. Well, I haven't witnessed anything crazy like this, but uh, I've heard stories says here, and yep, we'd argue that a groom disinviting his own mother after she behaves horribly to his stepmother from the wedding would definitely qualify as potentially life-changing moment. According to a poster on Reddit, the drama really started years before the wedding when his parents announced they were getting divorced, something that wasn't a shock given that he had known they weren't in love. When it was revealed that his father had cheated on his mom, the original poster was very upset with him and they didn't talk for a while. But the OP and his father eventually reconciled, and OP eventually started to build a relationship with his father's new wife. Okay, now notice right here he mentioned that they weren't in love. Unhappy marriage. So, although not cool that he was cheating on her, but then again, she obviously pushed him that direction. The best thing you can do, in my opinion, save a lot of drama and turmoil, is just simply end it, talk to divorce attorney, walk away. Because when you have cheating and affairs, things can be twisted around that even though maybe understandable, if she's awful, that the kids could be turned against you. And he right here, kid wasn't talking for a while. But they reconciled, that's good. And he likes his uh, stepmother. Says, although the young man may might have made peace with his dad and stepmom, his mother was still all kinds of salty. According to the OP, even though both his dad and stepmom have taken full responsibility for their relationship beginning as an affair, OP's mom just can't move on. As the OP, or original poster post explained he says i've tried getting my mom to date but all she wants to do is badmouth my dad and his now wife i have to always have two separate events for everything which he admitted is understandable uh, but for our wedding this wasn't feasible yeah well having two different events for different families is just enabling their behavior if it's uh the kids are old enough to get married, they can say, "Look, enough is enough. We're not going to have two separate parties anymore. Both parties can get along. You don't have to talk to each other, but you can just be civil on the opposite sides of the room 
for us. Cut the bullshit. But his mother can't let it go. And you notice he said here, I try to get her to date. But all she wants to do is badmouth my dad and his uh, now wife. Well, yeah, he cheated, but you know what? She pushed him in that direction, as you're going to see. All right? And it's easier for her to just sit around being pissed off and hate everyone than actually try to move on and be happy. It says a lot about her character. Uh, when his uncle threw the couple an engagement party at his bar, the OP invited both of his parents, as one would expect. But perhaps inviting his dad, his stepmom, and his mom to a venue with lots of booze wasn't the best plan. Well, again, they're adults, and they should act like adults, not act like a bunch of obnoxious teenagers. But then again, the dad and the stepmom aren't the problem, it's his mother. The night ended up being a hot mess, and the OP put his foot down. The engagement party for the OP and his fiancée, Lauren, started off well enough, until my mom walked up to my stepmom and called her a homewrecker, causing a huge fight with my dad, playing a peacekeeper, and it became the focus of the night. I once again talked to my mom saying, okay, that was your free jab. If you can't behave and be there for me and Lauren, then don't show up. I was clear that if anything else happened, then she would be out of the wedding, he wrote. Okay, OP, we'll see we'll see you're setting a found boundary. We like a boundary. Yeah, he set a boundary. But see, she has to walk up there and start a bunch of bullshit. Now, again, it's been eight years. Eight years, but she's still disturbed shit. And she can't respect that this is her son's wedding. Maybe she has a thing against the, the gal he's married. I don't know. But see, making it all about her. What does it say about her? But apparently the OP's mom was determined to test the theory that blood is thicker than water. Huh, a woman testing. Imagine that. Fast forward to the couple's wedding shower. And the OP's mom once again brought on the drama. She came after the OP's stepmother again. But this time hitting her with an especially low blow by taunting the stepmom about not being able to have children of her own. That is pretty horrible because by and large, women that can't have children really, that really impacts them in a big way. It really hurts them because most women do in fact want to have kids at some point. And so some really takes a long time to get past that, that they can't have children. So for her to go up and say that, that is really low. But again, she's that angry and hateful. And of course, he warned her. The son warned her and watch what happened. Uh, according to the OP, I noticed my dad's wife crying to her sister and my dad. I asked what happened, and her sister told me that my mom called my stepmom a melodramatic C-U-N-T, who won't ever be a real mom. My stepmom can't have kids of her own. I merely confronted my mom, and she didn't deny it. Didn't even deny it. Insulting a woman about her ability to have kids, that is seriously uncool. At that moment, Opie had to make a choice. Let his mom's bad behavior slide or follow through in his threat to exclude her from the wedding if she couldn't control herself. Well, she did that, and he let it go after telling her, any more BS, and you're out of here. That just like, because let's be honest, whether it's a young gal or an older woman, they all respond to a lot of the same things. So whenever a guy says something and he doesn't back it up, that, that, that will make anybody lose respect for you but especially a woman. He, he laid out his terms, the boundaries, do not say anything, no, no more bullshit, or you're not coming to the wedding. <clears throat> Even though he worried he might make him a jerk, the OP stuck to his guns and told his mom she was out of the wedding. Good for him. See, in my view, this is a great thing, and a lot of people think it's the same thing, because this is her son. Hopefully, the only time he's going to get married, right? And she can't, out of love for her son, just shut the hell up and behave herself for a night. If she wants to privately hate on the dad and the stepmom, okay, that's her business. That's, that's her business to hold on to all that anger and hatred. Even though she's the one that obviously caused the problems of the marriage to begin with, or, or her previous marriage. But that she goes to this thing and stirs up all this shit. That says everything to me. People, pay attention to people's actions. The LP told his mom to leave and told her the next day she wasn't invited to the wedding. Because my stepmom was important to me as well, and uh, shit-talking caused drama was inappropriate. Uh, we're Team OP on that one, but not everyone agrees with the OP, who shared that my mom freaked out, but I told that I warned her twice. Lauren, his fiancée and soon-to-be wife, thinks I'm being too harsh because my mom has had things that she had to go through. I said that it's been eight years. She treated my dad like crap when they were married, and our wedding isn't the place for this. My dad has been the bigger person through this whole thing and wants me to consider all options. Yeah, notice that. His fiance doesn't like this. This guy, he made it clear. 
this is what happens. There's going to be consequences if you do this again. She did, She tested him. And now he showed his hand. Okay, you're out of the wedding. You're not coming here, period. And that is exactly the right thing to do. Because if he would cave, that would only encourage her to keep doing things and make it worse. But now she'll think twice in the future. Either she won't talk to him, but she'll know. She'll respect him. She may be pissed off at him, but she'll respect him. And this will also show his soon-to-be wife. When this guy lays down the law, you don't cross, cross him. Otherwise, look what's going to happen. But if he would cave, his mom would lose respect for him and his wife, soon-to-be wife, would lose respect for him. Once you, sit, once you uh, draw a line in the sand, that's it. You can't let somebody cross it. It says here, the OP turned to Reddit, am I the a-hole for him for advice, and found that people were not here for his mom's lack of chill. Almost nobody is on his mom's side, and neither are we. As one poster shared, I'm a wedding planner, and your mom is the type of person that I abhor. She makes special moments all about her and her toxic issues. My advice, don't negotiate with emotional terrorists. You gave her two chances, and the greatest predictor of the future behavior is past behavior, and she failed. Exactly. Another wise commentator agreed, arguing both parents need to be civil. If they can't, they can't then they should not be expected to attend. Kids of divorced parents should not have to manage their parents' relationships. She lost her option when she acted uncivil. Well, he's... This, this, this person is talking about both parents. The father wasn't an issue. What he did was obviously eight years before him. This is all on the dude's mom. But the real mic drop comment was from a poster who reminded all of us that a wedding invitation is an honor, not a right. Boom. We're team OP, and we hope he doesn't end up having to call security on his mother at his wedding. Anyway, yeah, she could just show up anyway and just be like, I'm the mother. What are you going to do? Throw me out? Which actually I kind of expect to happen there. But anyhow, guys, entertaining one here. And I think it's pretty funny. Someone acts this badly and he excludes his own mom from his wedding. But for any of you guys, again, who have maybe experienced this yourself in your family or observers of people you've known. I've known people who had bad situations with divorces and all. Where with the turmoil that's involved, doesn't surprise you. But the main theme is anything in life, when you lay out your boundaries and terms... And somebody crosses them, you have to stand by what your word, what you say. Even if it is a threat that will definitely upset a lot of people. So the guy did the right thing. And again, like I said, he showed his mom what happens if you cross me. He also showed his future wife what happens when you cross me. I'm going to say something here, lay out my terms. And if you cross me, there's going to be consequences. And that's really good. And this, this goes both ways. This would be the same thing if it was a young gal get married and her dad was being a jerk to uh you know the uh, her mom's new husband or something like that it would go both ways and I'm, I'm fair here so nobody has the right to go screwing things up for other family members because they can't get over their crap okay people should be able to be civil for an hour hour and a half or something like that so i think it's pretty funny kick this a-hole out of the wedding so all right guys that is it for today that'll be a pretty entertaining one to go over here be sure to comment down below let me know what you think about this and guys also if you got a good story you'd like to share something a good article or story you found by all means email it to me strong successful mail gmail.com and when i get a chance i'll definitely cover it in the future and be sure to like the video share with your friends and subscribe and I'll catch you next time